Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.2 SD4 HSE automatic. 2015 on a 15 plate. Has done 63,197 miles. Will have done more by the time I finish this test drive. Two registered owners. MOT until the 27th of the 4th, 2022. Fuel economy. Urban. 37.4 miles per gallon extra urban 50.8 miles per gallon combined is 44.9 miles per gallon has a 0 to 60 turn of 8.4 seconds a top speed of 117 miles per hour out of a four cylinder 187 brake horsepower 16 valve engine road tax six months is 137 pound 50 and 12 months is 250 pounds documented service history 15th of the 4th 2016 at 13,366 miles, Paragon Land Rover, 27th of the 3rd, 2017, at 23,899 miles, Conway Land Rover, 10th of the 5th, 2018, 35,196 miles, Conway Land Rover, 14th of the 2nd, 2020, at 53,288 miles, Rybrook Land Rover. Finished in Loire Blue Metallic, and I think it's Almond Interior. Uh, big the Land Rover badges right across the uh, the bonnet there Discovery front parking sensors LED running lights high pressure headlamp wash the five split spoke alloys Goodyear Wrangler tyres all round wheel arch protectors there as I've mentioned before in other videos the pedestrian airbag there a curtain that shoots out in case you hit a pedestrian stop some uh, probably coming through the windscreen but getting hurt as well power folding door mirrors the sill protectors keyless lock keyless entry so you just come back to the car like so and that's it that's the door open as long as you've got the key in your pocket now it doesn't have rear privacy glass and to be honest I always think they look better without rear privacy glass but I don't know that, that's up to you Power open, power closed tailgate. Six and seven seats in the back, which I'm not even going to try and get into. Um, the rear roller blind there, the load cover, which you just have to make sure you don't get caught on the six and seven seat belt there. Reversing sensors, power close. Just in there, you've got the reversing camera, rear wash wipe, and also the uh, tailgate spoiler. Jeez, that was a struggle getting in. Uh, it's lovely out here when it is lovely, but when it's not, it's horrible. It's freezing today. Anyway, so I, I think it's the, the colour's called the Almond Interior, and it's it's really nice. A very, very subtle colour combination. And as I say, we've got the big pan roof here, right from the driver's head to the, the back of my head here. Nice high seats. Got cup holders, let's see, a little place to put your phone. The, oh, that's uh, come off, my camera was resting on there. Just put that back on. The Isofix rear child seat anchor points, a parcel nets in the back there. Power socket now, is that a USB or is it a power socket? It's a power socket. And then we've got airbags in the A pillar, the B pillar, the C pillar and the deep pillar so uh, uh, lovely nice and safe car and, and you feel safe in it to be fair these back seats are higher up than the front seats so you see over the driver it's it's lovely in the back okay I'll just take you for riding it there's the Range Rover key foot on the brake Click start. Gear selector comes out of the tunnel there. Just turn that down a sec. Um, right, let's go. <laughs> Let me go. Get the heated seats on, and uh, 
It's a bit wild out here today. It uh, was very, very misty or foggy, one of the two. And the sea's there. And uh, I am absolutely covered in salty water, I suppose. It's uh, the, the last time I felt like this, I was on a whale watching trip in Monterey. And a whale surfaced not too far from the boat, blew out, and about 30 seconds later, everybody got covered in this kind of fishy, salty spray which wasn't too pleasant. It was, a, it was a lovely day, but that was the worst bit about it. So uh, that's just how I feel at the moment. Not, not too good. Anyway, the good thing is this car is, it's uh, automatic. We've got paddle shift on the steering wheel, electric seats. It's just gonna actually just get comfortable. Lumber support there as well. So I'll get down. That's about it. A height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel, the usual Land Rover, Range Rover, cruise control, dead simple, one switch, it's on. And uh, it's also got speed limiter there. We have got lane departure, which I've got switched off because it's stupid. And uh, let's see what else we've got. Power folding door mirrors. We've got the lovely pan roof. Which, if it's too bright, the lovely pan roof, just press roll the blind there and it'll come forward you'll see how it how it changes how the whole interior of the, the vehicle changes really um, from being nice light and airy to uh, not so much so we'll, we'll get that knocked back quickly great steering I've actually been watching some videos on this Discovery um, over the weekend or, or on the Discovery model because, as I said in the last video, really, really impressed with them. Um, they uh, drive a bit like a Range Rover, not completely like one. Although I have to say this 2.2 drives whether it's the weight of the engine or something at the front drives a little bit or feels a little bit more substantial than the, the two litre um, it's, a, it, it's a real good feel to be honest a real good drive, I like it and uh, I, I certainly like this car, I like the interior here we are <laughs> We've, uh, we, we did na nickname this corner Death Corner but um, I've changed it to certain death corner. <laughs> I've, I've met some tractors coming the other way <laughs> and it's not pleasant. Especially when they've got like a big thresher on the back there. sat nav bluetooth hands-free bluetooth audio streaming we do have a reversing camera uh, in fact if i just click that there you go you've got cameras so we can put the reversing camera on and <laughs> that's like uh we were, <laughs> when i was when i was on an emirates flight they brought out these cameras all over the place. They've got one underneath them and one on top. You could see where you were going in flight. And we, we were just on the runway. And uh, uh, 
I don't know, it was, it, it was a massive bird, whatever it is, but it flew towards the camera and it, it looked like we were gonna, there's a huge bird gonna smash into us. So that's behind you anyway, so you shouldn't get that. So anyway, camera's there. We'll just flip back. Then you've got your eco data. There is also a, an app which I was going to uh, show you. You plug your phone in, it's Land Rover Connect or something like that. But uh, unfortunately, the, the previous owner is still registered. So I'm not going to change it because whoever buys the car, if you want to, um, if you want to use the app, you'd have to change it again. So I won't do it. But um, I, I, to be honest, I would like to know myself what the app entails. So perhaps when I uh, get another car that's that's not been registered, I'll have a go and make a video of it. Um, so electric windows on the side there. You've got your global locking. Your switch down there is next to, or your your lane departure switch is next to your boot release switch you've got your terrain response along the bottom here hill descent switch there which uh, again I'll, I, I did show you the other day but uh, it's absolutely fantastic it's I'm only going down a road or I will only be going down a, a steep road but actually going down a muddy slope with uh, the hill descent on it's very, very clever. You just, it's, it's kind of counterintuitive though because the last thing you want to do when you're on a big steep slope is take your foot off the brake and, and you have to and then the car just controls your descent all the way down, keeping you straight, keeping you at basically walking pace, I would say. But, uh, rather brilliant invention there's the sat nav showing you where we are at the moment great suspension on this uh, discovery has a 600 millimeter wading depth and I think uh, an eight inch ground clearance. The, the six and seven seats, fairly comfortable. Um, I, I, I didn't want to get in them for a couple of reasons really. One, the boot is full in of all my camera stuff and I, I would have to get all that out before I could put the, the seats up. Um, Two, I was freezing to death and it was raining. And three, I, I didn't want to get my dirty footprints all over the carpet. So, take it from me. Again, Land Rover, Range Rover, they, they make good things, they make them well, and they make them simple. And the seats to pull up, the back seats, I, I've, I've been in some cars where you, Going to go around the back, pull them back up, and then go in the in the middle, take the seats forward, and then lean in and put the seat squab up. The the Land Rover you, there's a, a strap, and you pull the strap, and it comes up, and that that's it. And and all you have to do then is reach over and pull the headrest up to put them down. Just the same, you you pull the strap and then let it fall forward. Very very simple and uh, very sturdy as well. I've also been in, in uh, some cars, or I've, I've tried some cars where you really won't want anybody sitting in the back seat. You know, you, you, you wouldn't want your children. The, the seats are very, very flimsy, um, attached by flimsy rails that if you pull the seat up too hard, they bend. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is you, you can't really beat Land Rovers. And they drive, they, in my mind, 
I have no doubt they drive better than all the other four wheel drives. They're no, perhaps no better, but certainly no worse than other things for repairs and things going wrong. Um, the more electrics we get these days, the more things will go wrong. I, I dread the day, 2030. <laughs> I won't be selling cars, like hopefully, but um, I, I dread the days when I dread electric cars. We've got five GoPros here. It's just taken me um, well over half an hour to switch them on because there's, one wasn't reading the SD card. Another one just wouldn't switch on until I took the battery out and put it back in. Um, a, another one wouldn't open on the app. I couldn't see the, you know, and these are these are all, well, the, these two cameras, oh, sorry, that one and that one are within uh, three months old. And the only one that worked properly and switched on is that one which is about four years old the later ones honestly you can't do anything with them so that's uh, there's always something wrong with them there'll be an update and they won't i can't pair them then to my phone i have to redo it again and all these problems i think will happen to electric cars updates The, uh, in the in the old days, the only update you had to do sometimes was if the starter motor stuck and you, you had to get a big hammer out of the, the boot and give it a clout. Or the fuel pump, perhaps a fuel pump would stick. If you went away on holiday, mechanical fuel pump, it would, it would stick at the top depending on how it finished when you switched the car off. Open the bonnet, get out, crack it, get back in, start it. I mean, just what you do with electric cars, it's, uh, it's beyond me. I, I feel sorry. I feel sorry for people who will have to have an electric car in the future. Because I can just see the headaches. As I say, my, my, my second Apple iWatch, the, uh, the face exploded off it. I heard a noise in the middle of the night and I thought somebody was breaking into my house. Couldn't find out what it was. And when I went to put my watch on in the morning, the, the face had blown off it because the, the battery had expanded. These GoPros, I've lost count of how many batteries I've, I've had because the batteries expand so much. If you don't get a new battery, they, they break the camera and you have to keep checking them. And they really, they really, really expand. And I'm pretty sure the the, the same technology as as the ones in electric cars. So, it, oh right, hang on a second. So I'm on a steep hill. There's nothing behind me. I can't see anything in front of me. We'll put hill descent on. Hill descent control on. <laughs> there you go. Look, no, look, no feet. And it's just uh, this, is, this. This is tarmac, and it, it's just as good on soggy grass. Um, one of the things. One of the things that uh, I saw over the weekend was uh, <laughs> Jeremy. Jeremy Clarkson in the country in a, a Range Rover. I watched the video. And all the other things trying to get up this hill, your X5s and all, and all the, just didn't make it. And the, uh, the Range Rover straight up. Right, I'm going to knock this off now because it's, otherwise it's going to take too long to get down there. So hill descent off. That's, this is what happens when you take your foot off the, uh, Break without hill descent. You, you start <coughs> start accelerating like the clappers. So there we go. It 
It's a lovely car. <laughs> yeah. Before I, I got up here really early. I think I was here about quarter past six. And it was just it was just white, just foggy. But blowing a gale as well. So I, <laughs> I tried to set a photo I was outside and I've just bought a new lens and it was a fortune. And uh, I don't want to ruin it, of course. So I got my umbrella out of the boot, put my umbrella up, and I nearly took off. So I decided to sit and wait instead. Right, sorry, back to the car. So this almond leather upholstery, perforated leather, heated seats, air conditioning or climate control. Actually, I'm just going to knock those heated seats off now because it's just getting a bit warm. <coughs> There, we can put that in sport if we want. Press down, over to sport. We can use these paddles to change down or up on the right, like so. You'll never need them. Put it in drive. It'll change gear far better than you can. It even changes gear better than I can. Electronic parking brake there. I'll just show you this. this steering wheel the height and reach I can find it there we go so height and reach there down on the side here there you go that brings up your menu in the center speed on the left rev counter on the right and we're just approaching another rather dangerous corner here with a bit of luck if you take your time you can see what's coming from over there but uh, A few people use this like a racetrack. Your heated front screen, great, great feature. High pressure headlamp wash. Very, very comfortable car. And th this is a lovely example. We've got uh, carpet mats. They're trimmed in the almond to match the seats. So nice contrast there. Front central armrest. In the front central armrest, there is a power socket and there is also a USB in and an auxiliary in. And also space to uh, put some stuff. Actually, I, I know what else there is, which I. Seeing as I'm like a hundred foot up and there's a big drop down that way, I'll probably wait till I stop. Could try the hill descent down there, see? I think you'd need, probably need a parachute, not a hill descent. Cases on the left there, wipers on the right. He had just been coming just a bit further. She'd have been coming just a little bit quicker. I could have pulled in there, but uh, Murphy's Law. from a mistake I'm going to pull up here and uh, that just gives me a chance to just do this because it's amazing See, and not many people know about that there's a secret compartment just under there you press that button and that opens up um, there's, there's well you'd be amazed what you find in there usually things that cause rattles.
So anyway, I'll finish the test drive there. Um, absolutely lovely car. I would say that, in my opinion, Land Rover and Range Rover, class leading. The Discovery's always been something special, to, to be fair. Um, if somebody really, really wanted a workhorse, then uh, it was a Discovery, especially with the seven seats. Um, mostly you see farmers in Discoveries, not Range Rovers. And uh, lovely car. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.